And welcome back, guys. Um, I don't got Moda Shop Dog out here with me today. I got my son's dog, and so, so she's hanging out with me and everything. Um, just want to let you guys know that um, you know, we are on week three of um, my channel. I just started this channel, and I really appreciate all the new subscribers um, that um, subscribe to my channel. Hey, and talking about subscribers, I want to give a big shout out to my number one subscriber this week, and it's going to be Pearl Jones from Greensboro, North Carolina. That's my mom, of course, but she did give me one of the best shout outs, and I appreciate the encouragement, mom, and I hope to do you proud. If you're new to my channel, you're watching Classic Chevys with CJ, the cigar man, and yes, I'm the cigar man. So uh, today we're going to get right into episode three of the 1962 Chevy pickup truck build. And today, guys, we're going to be getting into some rust repair of the cab, um, the rear cab, and also inside the cab, guys. And then hopefully once we get through priming everything and I'm sorry, basically finished all the body work to it, hopefully we can get it in some primer. So without further ado, let's get into this video. And this is um, the all metal. I actually use that instead of Bondo because it strengthens it a lot. And I kind of figured since on that hinge there with all that metal, we need a little bit of extra strength. Now it's time to strip down the rear of the cap to bare metal to see what kind of damage we got. I was able to strip that rear cap all the way down to bare metal. That's the best way of getting your body work done. Even though I had already primed it once, I'm probably be going through this several times of priming. Now I found out that this is the, one of the best ways of killing rust so it won't come back. And it's also a very inexpensive way of using 50-50 water and vinegar solution. Now it's dent pulling time. All right guys, so I'm gonna go over a quick little video of how I use this dent repair stud welder kit since we're about to have a video come up on um, the back uh, panels as far as the cap so I just want to open this up real quick and I'm going to show you um, what comes in this kit and you always need to wear your um, protection your gloves and also your eye protection as well whenever you're using the stud welder but it's basically um, a gun And it has, it's a um, Chicago welding, dent repair stud welder, 120 volts, and it's a 20 amp, okay, dedicated circuit. And it has a trigger here that you use. And it also comes with various tips as well that you use for the um, pulling of the metal, depending on how thick the metal is. So I got numerous um, sizes and I will actually show you or demonstrate how you pull the dents and then after you put the studs in with this um, these studs then you take your your, your slide hammer and then once you, you have that you your... pull your dent out with this slider so I'll cut you back on whenever I'm ready to weld a stud onto a piece of metal all right guys, so first, of course you have to clean your surface of the metal. I just got a piece of scrap metal that I'm gonna demonstrate um, the stud word on. 
So first you got to clean your surface of your metal and then you take the proper size of the stud welders you're going to use and these come in like you get they, it comes with like three different sizes tips that you can use so you put that flush like that and you make sure it's on a flat surface and i normally do it for about three seconds and you squeeze this trigger here i turn it around here squeeze this trigger and you see how it'll then stick to the metal and if there was a dent right there I will be able to pull that same thing, hold it. And it's still all right. <clears throat> I do one more for you guys just to demonstrate. Put that in there like that. Put it there on a the flat surface. And then that's how you do it. And then and you put that on the tip of these. And then you would take them and then you would slide your hammer like that to pull the dent out. So that's what we're going to use here in a video coming up. And that's so how I use the technique to get those dents out the back of the cab. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Let's get back into the video. Now I actually use a stud welder that I actually got from Harbor Freight. I think it was like $99. This is an easy way to pull your dents if you can't get in the rear of the cab or behind the panel. Now with all of the outer cap roughed in, it's time to get inside and do a little fat work. I must say the inner roof and the inner window channel was probably the most difficult job on this build project. I basically had to fabricate all these pieces from scratch because you can't buy none of these body panels. So whenever I cut out the old piece of metal, I basically just kept that metal and I shaped it to size of my new 18 gauge steel. That's pretty nasty there. That's like a rat's nest, believe it or not. I mean, when I cut that out, that's what I found up in there. So you never know what you're going to find in some of these old trucks. Before welding up those patch panels, I actually treated the bare metal with some rust inhibitor and capsulator from Eastwood. And one thing I do like about that capsulator, whenever it turns black, that's when you know all the rust is gone and um, it will not come back. So this was another tricky part was the gas cap filling it. And the reason why is, is that it, as you see, it's like on an elbow. And I don't, do not have an English wheel, but I do got a shrinker and stretcher. That's the picture of the um, shrinker. And it took me several tries to get that form but I was able to get it and you would never be able to tell that a filler neck was um, eventually resided there at one time. Hey guys, finally, I think it's about time for some priming.
So this is the first stage of priming. I will probably prime this truck at least two or three more times. This is what you would call the rough stage or roughing in stage. Now if you take a step back and just think about where we came from, it's really hard to believe that really only a short few months ago, this truck had holes in the floorboard, holes in the top of the roof, dents in the rear of the cab. There was no cab corners. So as of right now, we're doing a pretty good job. So I feel we're ahead of the game right now. After several months of sanding and priming, now I can start on the undercarriage. And believe it or not, this is actually one of my, you know, second best thing to do is actually, you know, prepare and treat the undercarriage of the truck. I actually found this product called Raptor Liner, and it is far none the best. Easy to spray. Um, it lays down very good, and it has a texture um, that leaves a good protection coat for your truck underneath because of course you know all of the rocks and grime is gonna just basically hit up from the from the road so I think it protects your truck and stuff and I think it also looks good even though you won't see it because it's underneath Hey guys, we're coming to the end of this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave some comments down below and I'll make sure I get back with you. All right guys, hey, we are done with episode three of the build. And hey, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, a lot of, of these uh, pics that I've taken, like I said, I took these over seven years ago with the, not really having the intent of putting them on YouTube so I apologize right now that um, there's not a lot of video in the first uh, three or four episodes but trust me they get so much better and um, I got so much more content and hopefully you guys with the narrating helped you guys out as far as me going along telling basically the story of um, what we did with this truck but as you see a lot of body work a lot of body work a lot of welding and um but hey we're getting through this and this is my first time ever um doing a big project like this uh first time ever welding um as you guys know i told you guys in the previous um episodes i'm basically self-taught um and but i tell you what i made sure that those wheels was was tight no lights behind them and i felt like i did the body work like the body work is supposed to be done so anyway i appreciate you guys hanging out with me today um, don't forget next week we'll be dropping another video episode four um, don't forget to subscribe like and share so we can continue doing good videos and making good content for you guys so like I always tell people if you got a good cigar a fast car a truck smoke them if you got them baby